this tutorial I'll be looking at the mirror feature in Inventor. Um, although a very simple concept overall, it can be manipulated to suit required parameters if the need arises. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just create a simple block once again, uh, 50 millimeters wide by 100 millimeters long. And this is the block and I'm going to carry out the mirror on. But this is going to be slightly different uh, to normal mirror patterns in that I'm going to be mirroring both the body, this body in the bottom, and features on the top as desired. So I'm just going to click mirror there first. And I got the option here of mirror solid. Uh, this is going to be the actual block itself that I've extruded that will be created in the second placement. When I click this now, automatically it's going to know that the mirror plane has to be selected next. So I can just click the mirror plane, which is the edge, and click OK. Uh, this has created a single uh, block that has joined the two parts of the mirror together, as this was set in the parameters. We'll change this now in the next example. So therefore I have one block of uh, twice the size of the original in one section. I can go back now and I can edit the feature of the individual mirror. Um, up here in the top right hand corner, the fe this feature actually gives the option of creating a second um, component. So unlike the first situation, this would actually allow for creation of um, a second smaller block in two individual parts. So that's the option I'm going to select now. Let's call their new solid and click OK. And now as you see, we hover over both of them together, it will be noticed that the two are actually two completely separate parts and therefore can be treated um, individually. Going back to the feature of the mirror again, I can actually go back to the first version and I can click on remove original. This will actually allow for the removal of the right hand side part, which was the original one, and keep the new mirror on the left hand side. So now at the moment we have a mirrored part being kept as the new original and the original one is actually deleted. Now we can create a simple 2D sketch on top of the block. Uh, the reason I'm going to do this now is just going to show how you can mirror individual um, sections and features of solids. So I'm just going to cut this out of it. And I'm going to select a depth of 2 millimeters and click OK. The next thing now I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to um, go into the side timeline bar. And as you can see here, the same... Um, set of parameters is listed as an any, other, any other feature. So on the mirror I have the occurrences. What I want to do here first though is I want to go back into the sketch and just edit the sketch for a moment. I'm going to place two circles in the sketch and when I extrude these upwards to cylinders I'll show how different um, features can be mirrored um, as the need arises. So to do this I have to build around the sketch first. So I right click, turn on visibility. I can now extrude these select my height click OK and then just turn off the sketch again at the moment now I have three individual features I have the block on the bottom the two cylinders which are treated as one since I drew them together and also the cut section in the middle moving on from this now I can mirror individual features if the need um, arises or I can just mirror the solid as a whole. So I'm just going to click the mirror individual features I'm going to pick the features and as you can see that the two cylinders are counted as one. So I'm going to select the block first I'm also going to select just one cylinder. So that's the block and the cylinder. Select the mirror plane which is the edge and now you can see on the futuristic uh, drawing that pops up, it shows that the two cylinders will be mirrored, the base block, but not the cut section. 
If we click OK here now, it will be noticed that the mirror has actually taken place and when we hover over the center, it will be noticed that the whole component is actually in one piece. Moving on now, if we change the parameters of the first extrusion of the cylinders, um, it will also be noticed that the mirror command actually updates the mirrored section. So they are changed 1mm and now the two new cylinders are also created as 1mm high. Also we'll go back into the features again. If we now mirror the solid, all the individual features are now placed on the new component and by removing the original we have a complete new copy.